Hi, it's Mike, and today, hey, I heard some people are subscribing to me. Boy, I wonder if you want to subscribe to me. Yeah, so I'm kind of busy these days. I've got so many family obligations. I don't have a lot of time for videos. Um, and I did a video recently that uh, I did kind of a bad job on, and time's kind of passed. It was more of a timely video. Um, but I wanted to get part of it out, so I'll attach it at the end of this one, so stick around. Uh, I thought it was kind of an interesting way of kind of working through in my head. I'm like working through things, and then I come up with a kind of a, a realization that I captured on video uh, that kind of negated everything I'd said up until that point. But yeah, uh, one other tip I'll say here is I've come to understand things a little bit different with the... Uh, uh, kind of arguing with people about, you know, is plant-based lifestyles good or not? You know, uh, people always try to pick apart the studies. It drives me nuts. Well, that study didn't mean nothing. Well, that study doesn't mean nothing. Well, it's like, you guys aren't understanding. And that's really when it came to me, is I wasn't understanding. Is that these studies that we point to to show the benefits of a plant-based lifestyle, they're not studies intending to prove that the plant-based lifestyle is the best. What they're trying to do is figure out how a plant-based lifestyle is the best. What do I mean by that? Well, we found societies. We found people on islands. We found people, the Seventh-day Adventists. Um, those people have had information tracked and they've been studied. And they were plant-based, and they're healthier than us, right? And when the scientists look at what they did, they look at what they were eating. And they're like, well, apparently what they were eating was allowing them to be healthy. How is that possible? That's what the studies are happening now. They're trying to figure out how is that possible. They already know it does. They already know that plant-based lifestyle is better. It's been proven. How was it proven? By tens of tens of tens, you know, it might even be centuries of, not centuries, but it's a long time of, of people eating plant-based and the results that they had. So next time you're getting in an argument with someone about this study or that study, remember, and maybe even bring it up, the study is not trying to prove that eating plants is best for you. That's already been proven. The study's just trying to figure out how is that even working, right? So, yeah, here's the next video. Thanks so much for watching, people. Uh, maybe the connotations in public with veganism, uh, you know, and, and the aggressive vegans kind of turn off that term for some people. So they, they latch on the plant-based, but that doesn't mean they're eating meat. And so when I hear someone using plant-based and then saying that then they treat or, or cheat, I'm thinking, you know, get off my side. I don't want you on my side. But on the other hand, um, these are people, you know, and you know, people are flawed. Um, and while uh, we as vegans or plant-based people, we may feel strongly about how certain people should lead their lives, um, we have to remember that, um, you know, Everyone's important. The animals are important, but the people are important too. So, yeah, it's it's an irritating thing when someone as popular as uh, as some people will go and um, kind of try to give a message to their followers that say that uh, um, cheating on a vegan lifestyle or cheating on a plant-based lifestyle is okay. Um, because no, it's not, you know, we, we inherently know that it's not good to do that. Um, should you beat yourself up? Uh, I think what you need to do is you need to look hard at yourself when that happens and make sure that you really understand why you're vegan, why you're plant-based. Certainly you're doing it for the, you know, the environment and certainly you're doing it for yourself. But we have to remember, 
there are sentient beings involved here. Um, and while beating yourself up maybe isn't the answer, but maybe redoubling your focus, recognizing that, that the only way um, and the best way to help stop the animal cruelty, the rape, the torture, um, the way we help to show everyone that that's not okay is we don't support it. We don't support it with money. We don't support it with our time. We just don't support it. And any time that we cheat is when that message isn't clear. We need to make the message clear. So uh, if you want to cheat uh, and call yourself plant-based, understand that that's not really what you are. If you want to treat yourself and call yourself vegan, just understand that's not what you really are. Um, and if you really want to be vegan, then understand uh, there's better ways to be vegan. Right? If you're having trouble on a vegan lifestyle, if you're having trouble on a plant-based lifestyle where you find yourself needing to cheat, finding yourself needing to treat yourself, then maybe you're doing it wrong. Because really, honestly, if you find the right way to be vegan, you're not going to have any drive to cheat. There, nothing that you look at other than plant-based foods will look appealing to you. Um, and if that's not happening for you, if, if your compassion isn't overwhelming, you're trying to satisfy yourself. Then you're not doing yourself justice on the lifestyle. So if you need help, uh, if you're not sure how to, how to go vegan, you're not sure how to get away from all these animal products, uh, comment down below. Um, if, if I don't have any suggestions that work for you, I'm sure there's other people. Uh, for me, high carb, low fat was the way to go. That's been a way for a lot of people. Uh, it allows you to satisfy yourself, eat as much as you want, and not have to worry so much about calories and weight. But that's not what it, the right thing for everyone. So if you really want to be plant-based, if you really want to be vegan, and you don't want to be cheating, and you don't want to be um, treating yourself, uh, make sure you find someone that can talk to you. Um, there's lots of people that want to help you stay vegan. There's lots of people that want to keep you off of animal products. And there's lots of ways to do it. It's not hard, it really isn't, not in today's world. Uh, so please, uh, look for help. I guess that's all I got to say. Hope everyone's having a great day. I really appreciate everyone that uh, watches these videos. Uh, make, sure just to make sure you subscribe so you can catch my next video. Um, and have a great day. Bye.